A new report shows the city of Albuquerque shelled out more than $3 million to settle lawsuits in the last three months of 2023. About a quarter of that went to people who were in crashes caused by city workers, including Albuquerque police officers. Here's a look at those payouts. A trip to the landfill takes a turn in 2020 when a worker backs heavy equipment into a customer's truck and totals it. That, according to a lawsuit filed by that customer, who accepted a settlement from the city of more than $200,000. It is similar to an incident the year before at the Eagle Rock Convenience Center, where a worker also backed into a customer, and the city also agreed to pay a $200,000 payout. Another crash in 2019 involved an animal welfare worker who made an illegal U-turn, according to the lawsuit, and slammed into a couple's car, causing serious injuries. In that case, a whopping $300,000 settlement. Meanwhile, the city also paid out for crashes caused by police officers on patrol. One involving a name already in the news this week, Officer Kenneth Skeens, who faces criminal charges for dragging a disabled man out of a target. A year before he was fired for that incident, Skeens rear-ended a family on I-40, causing a three-car pileup. That payout? $40,000. In another case, $75,000 paid after Officer Zachary Herbst swerved into a motorcycle on Central, leaving the driver with a punctured lung. That quarterly report also lists payouts for trip and fall cases, discrimination, whistleblower lawsuits, and failures to fulfill public records requests. Also more than $400,000 to Gabriel Garcia, who was shot after throwing rocks at an APD officer back in 2022. The officer who shot and wounded Garcia, Officer Quan Law, was fired over that shooting. Garcia pleaded guilty to resisting an officer.